Hello Americans and other friends. Did you tell me not to move? And other subscribers. <laughs> Dude, I just blew it all. Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. Miss Kitty's back there trying to be the director and really throwing me off. <laughs> now she's giving me the look behind the camera. But today, um, actually, you know, we go treasure hunting two and three days every week. And today is one of our treasure hunting days. And I can't really show you right now well you might be able to see down well no you can't because of the glare but uh dude it is a blizzard out there and this uh last few days you know you've seen in my videos it's funny because one day i'll be out there do it well you can be in car start working on that jeep in no snow ground dry and the next thing you know there's an inch within an hour um it went away yesterday no snow well there's some you know some patches in the shade he's no snow man the, you know our pass all good man all the snow gone and holy smokes this fire is hot <laughs> and uh but today man it's a blizzard so so we ain't you know i ain't venturing out in that crap so uh something i've been needing to do and actually wanted to wanted to do a video and i am by no means or we are by no means um professionals at this it's something that we've i've talked about how i want to grow mushrooms um down in the creek bottom and all that and um our first ones may start producing soon and actually our friend uh Chriselle that i was talking about she sent us our first plugs when we were talking about what are you smirking about that Chriselle, she is gonna slap no, your she face don't care. Okay. she said she's been called a lot worse okay, <laughs> okay. Chriselle's pretty cool so um Anyway, she sent our first plugs, and we plugged some logs, and um, got some more plugs, and I can't, what's the, we got the shiitake and the, uh, Rishi, 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 well, and, I'm saying um, it wrong, I'm sure. We got one other one, too, don't we? We've got, uh, two. I had some notes, down there. I was looking, and there was another one, too. But anyway, um, so those ones should start producing. So I'm going to show you, man, and I've watched so many videos. i got books on it and everything like that. So we're, man, I'm dying in here, man. <laughs> this is not a good place it. to do this, Phil. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm going to show you our way. We've taken, you know, everybody's way. And I'm just going to go over a few things. So I'm going to plop my butt down here, man, and roast and show you guys how to plug a log or our way of doing it. All right, so down, down here. So, um first thing you want you know you can use a man you need my drill getting overheated but as use a 5 16 bit we're actually using plugs and these are actually some from last year that i'd actually we keep them in the fridge and these ones actually started uh well they're kind of stick together they're all right but um i don't know if these ones will take for sure because they are a little old but what we're gonna do is go ahead and go uh we're gonna drill the log um, a lot of people, man, if you watch the other videos and stuff, man, some people will tell you, you know, to use a 10 to 12 inch log. Some tell you to use the smaller logs, you know, so it's all to your preference. These logs were actually cut. You want to cut your logs in the springtime. And these were uh, cut and I've had them sitting out there. I've got a few of them. And then actually in one video, I was out there cutting that one cottonwood and I leaned some up and I think I said something about that. So... To drill your holes, um, you want to drill your holes three to five inches apart, you know, and then, the, you know, stuff like this, I'm going to go ahead and drill it, you know, and, uh, but three to five inches apart, and then, like, when you come down on the side, you want to kind of go between, you know, where the other ones and get these, you know, eight, eight inches or, you know, whatever, down on the side, but just kind of want to, basically, you want to stagger them. I don't really think that it matters all that much. I did, uh... I'll tell you what, when you drill the holes, you want to plug it, because I did plug one, and I don't even know where the heck it is now. Oh, it was in this one. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so was there anything else I needed to go over before this? Oh, and you want your logs to have, um, you don't want to go out there and cut an old, dead, dried-out tree. You want, you know, a fresh, or a year, about a year cut, because it's got the more sugar in it, you know, and which is more food for the... Uh, this thing man which is more food for the the mushrooms and the mycelium Lord, man. Uh, this is gonna be called hillbilly roast <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um 
So where was I? Oh, so you want, you definitely want the bark on it. You don't want some bare piece of wood and all that. And the best woods, and I'll tell you something that I found pretty interesting too when I was reading, is the, um, the name shiitake actually came from she tree. The first trees that the shiitakes, you know, over in China or Japan or wherever. What is that? China. I think China. China or Japan, anyway. But anyway, um, they grew on she, or on she trees, so then that's where the name shiitake came. I just thought that was interesting. And your best woods um, for this is oak would be number one, which we don't have a lot of oak trees around. Oak, maple, elm, and cottonwood. I got lots of cottonwood. You know, so that's the good one for your, your permaculture, too. So I'm going to drill a few of these holes. I'll show you what I do. Oh, and you want to drill. Basically, you want to drill, you know, the same depth as your thing. Uh, something I did last time was just took a Sharpie and put a mark on it. On your drill bit? Yeah, on your drill bit. And uh, it's also one thing to do to kind of help clean your hole out is reverse it. You know, because usually you just pull it out, but that helps reverse the hole out. And, uh, wow, man. I was going to do a couple, but this is so barky that I think I'll lose my dang hole if I don't. See, I already lost my yep. dang hole. Dude, this fire is making me rush and just, ah, it's so hot, <laughs> man. And then, uh, so you stick your plugs in. Um, some people get them so tight where they pound them in with a little hammer. Me, I just take it like that. Use the end of your little paintbrush, poke them in there like that. And then as I get going here, I'm going to get, I'll fill this one with a little sawdust. And then I have a, uh, it ain't too hot. Dude, I am just toasting. But we got uh, beeswax is what we like to fill our holes in. And basically that's just to keep anything, you know, out of there or help keep anything out of there that would contaminate your mycelium or your mushroom going. I'll show you how we do that in a minute. Oh, man, man, we picked the wrong place Spot. to do this video. Woo I've been thinking for a minute. I got to put a couple of notes down here that I wanted to make sure that. Um, I'm just gonna get a close up of those. I'm gonna check the. Yeah, the, see, and these ones, like I said, these are older. These are a year old. We're hoping to order some, and I showed this catalog and the one about this book. And seeing the way I'm doing it, um, obviously we're just. You know, big time mushroom hunters, but we're beginners on the, the cultivating them ourselves. Um, and this is called inoculating, inoculating the log. Um, but we want, actually want to get fancier. They have a, the plug deal, you know, drill the hole and you make the hole, uh, uh, what's that called, Miss Kitty? When you made the stuff that's airy, when you, um, dang it. Should put that in my notes. But anyway, you you mix it up with all your spores, and then you, they have this uh, dabber thing, man. And you you know you put the plug, you just kind of go in the. See, you had a bunch of that, and you put it in here, have your hole, and then you go in there and you push the button, and it inoculates. Those ones are pretty cool. And if we get going on it eventually down the road, you know, then we can get a little fancier with that stuff. Check my, excuse me. Um, oh, after we do this, it takes roughly 12 months. And something that I did find uh, that I thought was cool too is the, um, you know, over in Japan or China or whatever, when it gets about nine months, you know, and you start seeing the mycelium and stuff like that, is they call it knocking on wood and they go around and knock on the log, which is supposed to agitate it to, uh, and help them fruit, to start fruiting so you can harvest. Did you ever hear that? Um, I had. Oh, really? Yeah. I think that's so cool. Yeah, that's And cool. then something else that you can do is, um, is submerge them in cold water. And that makes them think that it's springtime and it's uh, time to fruit. Yeah, time to fruit. So that's another way. So I think I'll just do another. Uh, we'll just, so I can show you. So about, about five inches, four or five inches, three inches, whatever you want. I don't get too crazy about it. Saying I didn't reverse, but so then put your deal back down in there. Push it in the city. I just kind of put the. This stuff like this. Put the shavings right over on yeah, top. Yeah, put the shavings right on top of it like that. And then uh, <laughs> hopefully it ain't too hot to grab a hold of. And you want... Is that a good consistency uh, thing? It's easy. It's yeah, okay. not really. I had it, but there we go. So then you want it, I'd like it kind of thick, almost like putting a, 
mud. See, that one's not new. There we go. Just about like that. And then you seal it up like that. And then um, I'm not going to use this pan, and I won't do it right now. But uh, after I get the whole thing plugged, then we'll also come back and um, seal off the ends. Just because, you know, just to... Um, Keep all of those to keep all the nutrients and stuff so nothing. Yeah, and you know, and, the, yeah. You know and just yeah. leaving almost like leaving an open wound, you know, for infection or bugs or whatever. So we'll uh, end up sealing that off too. Our uh, hope and dream, you know, with us and the mushrooms, and we're actually gonna order some oysters. We got a couple of them marked in there. Can you think of any of the other ones we were wanting to? Uh, um, I want to do some main lion mane. Yeah, some lion mane. And like I said, we want to do that down in the, the creek bottom here. And first, I mean, our goal, number one goal is to start producing enough for us, you know, and our family and friends to eat. And then if we really get it going, man, our dream would be to actually turn it into a little mushroom yeah. farm and maybe actually produce a little income mm -hmm. for the homestead. Is there anything else you can think of? Mm -mm. Let me look at my notes here. I put a couple notes, but didn't even really use them. Nope, and that's about it. But uh, so that's how you inoculate a log or plug a log. Um, so I'm going to do these. I'm not going to film these, and I'm actually going to take this out the door <laughs> and do a match. I'm going to stand out there and have this thing plugged by the time other than come in here and do that. Oh, and the thing I was going to talk about is the um, when you're done after you got it done. You want to put it in a shady spot, um, you know, leaned up, you know, lean your log up like this against something. Um, and in the summertime, you do, do not want direct sun on it and, as, and just pay attention to it and kind of watch the log because if the log completely dries out, it just kills off all the mycelium. So, man, I'm the ones I got, I've been going down and watering. And that's one of the reasons I think our creek bottom would be so awesome is because of the moisture in the ground is actually going to help, you know, because, I mean, it's pretty damp down there. But what we're doing with these ones, and I've been paying attention, is our little uh, wood crib over here. It's actually got a leak in there that uh, <laughs> keeps it kind of moist and, you know, and it's cooler off of the cabin. And we have mushrooms pop up over here year round and all kinds of different you know not edible well the, some of them might be edible mm -hmm. but all kinds of mushrooms i think i've showed them on camera before so we and mycelium on my logs any logs that have any uh moisture stuff left in them when we had our log stack man i kept on telling kitty man we need to grow mushrooms in here so that's kind of our experiment if we're trying to see if we can get our logs which i couldn't put a ton but enough for us if i can get them to start you know getting closer to the fruiting in here so that's what I've done with the last run. The ones that we got from Chrishell are actually down in the uh, down in the creek bottom already, and um, we'll kind of see what happens with those this spring. What are you smirking again at me? I'm just watching you. Um, because when you film by yourself, mm -hmm. you look at the camera. When I hold the camera, you I look, look at, at you. Me. <laughs> You're so pretty back there, Miss Kitty. All right, so I'm gonna stare right at the camera. There you go. <laughs> so I think that's bad about it. Not really what we were planning on doing, and actually. I was grabbing uh, um, some juice out of the fridge and didn't even realize that I still had these plugs and I was like, no, so hopefully these will take and we'll see what happens and keep you posted, but that obviously will be about 12 months down the road. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully we have more to show with the ones that we already have down there and the ones, because the ones in here have been a few months and I'm kind of hoping we can speed up the process a little bit with the conditions in here, so we'll see. So good Lord willing and the cricks don't rise, we'll be back again tomorrow.